Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. And today we're going to be talking about some new news, and also we've got some of your guys' questions that we're going to be answering in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any TCTV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys may have heard, and you guys should check out the video that I put up last, uh, like, two days ago or something like that, Batwoman has been recast. There is a new person playing Batwoman, that is Jafisia Leslie, and so she is going to be playing Ryan Wilder, and the reason why I bring it up in today's video is just to sort of start the video, because Supergirl, obviously we're talking mainly about Supergirl in this video, heading into season 6 and the next crossover and everything like that, it's going to be different, the dynamic between the world's finest, as they called them. And so I'm talking about Supergirl and Batwoman here. So what do you guys think is going to happen with them? I'm pretty sure they're going to have some sort of relationship, sort of like Kate and Kara did back in those past crossovers. So I'm kind of expecting something, kind of looking forward to maybe a new dynamic. Looking forward to that. So I wanted to bring this up to, you know, put it to you guys in the comments. What do you think of this New casting, do you think it's going to work with Kara and Ryan? Let me know. Alright, so let's move on to the first piece of information. This comes from Supergirl.tv. So finally, a little bit of news. We haven't had a lot of news for a long time, and obviously the next big thing is DC Fandom. That's happening in August, so about a month or so away, like a month and a bit. So we got a while to go, but obviously we're going to get some sort of news every now and again. And we got some news today, and this is for Supergirl Season 5, and it's going to be getting its Blu-ray and DVD release, and we've got an official date for you guys, so it's going to be out September 8th this year. So this is going to be the US release date, I'm not sure as in regards to like UK, Europe, you know, all around the world, I don't know specific release dates for all the the countries around the world but as of right now America is getting Supergirl season 5 on DVD and Blu-ray September 8th you know what we're gonna be getting in this is gonna be very exciting we're gonna get some deleted scenes we will definitely talk about that when that comes out in early September also they are planning to release a gag reel with this so that is always something to really look forward to and that's something when they missed it out in season two everyone was so mad and we never got that season two gag reel but we've got them in the subsequent seasons after because of that sort of outrage i'm pretty sure so yeah season five blooper reel that's going to be funny seeing the gags and everything like that also deleted scenes maybe some new context there were some great deleted scenes in the past few seasons you know some with mon -El in like season three there were some cool ones that i remember like that and some with maggie they're always good fun basically but yeah so that is the news for today let's move on to you know the questions from you guys i've been doing some of these videos recently sorry that the upload schedule is a bit off but to be honest there's not much news and I took a break last week and I started to upload a few videos over the last few days. Gonna sort of continue along the same kind of routine where it's like once every two days. Hopefully you guys are alright with that and cool with that. So just come back every few days, turn on your notifications to not miss any videos because they're all important videos even though it's a bit less frequent. Alright, so the first question comes from Lucia Eden on YouTube who asks, Are they cancelling Supergirl before season 6? because if they do, the show is on a cliffhanger. So, I like to answer this question every now and again because it still pops up and it's kind of surprising considering we've answered this like every time there's an update about like new seasons coming out and updates in regards to the Arrowverse as a whole and sometimes we get like these fake rumors that Supergirl is going to be ending. So, you know, the fact that people keep on bringing it up, it's obviously still a question out there, but no, Supergirl isn't going to be canceled after season six there is no plans for that Melissa is contracted in to stay until season seven and then after that it can be ended supergirl is not going to be cancelled because you know there is nothing completely wrong unless the ratings absolutely falter and go to the ground and do the worst on the cw supergirl is not going to be cancelled to be cancelled is to be shut down by the network because of you know it's not working as a show it obviously is, it wouldn't have gone to season 6, and the other reason normally is 
the fact of the ratings and Supergirl is doing very good for the CW. Yes, it's not the number one show like The Flash, but it does very good in terms of ads and it has a pretty consistent viewer rating and it brings in the CW a lot of money. So it's one of the highest earning shows on the CW. So they're not going to cancel it basically. That is the answer. And due to the fact the show's on the cliffhanger is another point, but I guess that doesn't matter because like if you look back at Constantine season one that ended on a cliffhanger, that got cancelled. But yeah, don't worry about Supergirl after season six. It's after season seven, that is the question, because Melissa can choose to leave and sort of end the show like they did with Arrow in season eight because that was Steven's decision. But yeah, so it's really down to Melissa and the showrunners and what they want to do. Alright, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Ash Stevenson on YouTube who asks, Will Brainy be there next season as either a live, a hologram, computer program, or some sort of memory? So, interesting question. This sort of goes towards what happened at the end of last season with Brainy. He was basically dying inside that Leviathan sort of ship. And we had the sort of cliffhanger, or one of the cliffhangers was that Neo was going to go save Brainy. And that is basically what will happen next season, because, you know, I'm pretty damn sure Brainy's not going to die. I don't know about you guys, but the way it ended, it sort of felt like that was, you know, set up to be like a thing right at the end, or like right at the start of the next episode, where Neo goes, Neo saves Brainy. She sort of breaks through this sort of force field that is basically trying to kill Brainy and she just in the end reigns victorious and those two sort of live happily ever after or so you know as far as they can and I think they'll be back together after Nia saves him. Okay so let's move on to the last bit of this video. This is to do with some other new information. This is the fact that Stargirl has been renewed for season 2 and is coming to the CW. So there is a big difference, you know, moving from DC Universe to CW right now. They were, I think, you know, cutting the episodes a bit or just playing the episodes on the CW a few days after DC Universe. I don't know which one was doing better for them, but it seems to be like it's more of a CW show than a DC Universe show. I think the first few episodes and the style of the show were more DC Universe. But then as it's sort of gone on, I think it definitely fits in the CW. And to be honest, I was very much so expecting this for the CW to pick up Stargirl. And with Stargirl being picked up for season two and with what they've talked about in the past with the showrunners, it seems very likely that we're going to be seeing Stargirl in the next crossover whenever that happens sometime later this year, sometime later next year. And it seems pretty damn likely with season two you're going to see that Stargirl Supergirl crossover or that Stargirl Flash crossover that was teased and I really really want that and I think that is the most exciting thing about the fact that it's coming to the CW it means that definitely there is a possibility of there being that crossover. I think Stargirl season two as a whole is going to be a bit more intertwined with the Arrowverse obviously this season has very much so been standalone and more in the style of like titans or doom patrol i mean it's more cw than those shows but still i mean it's pretty much like a mishmash of dc universe and cw right now so i think it's really exciting to see it come over to the cw as like a permanent home kind of what they did with supergirl with it being on cbs coming to cw changed a bit in terms of its style and the budget and everything like that obviously the budget is going to change from stargo so i wonder how it's going to look are they going to have you know the same sort of style of cinematography and everything it looks really nice right now it's a very well shot show naturally the budget's going to go down and it's going to be like local cast and crew coming from probably vancouver where they will move the show i'm not sure where it originally shot maybe it was vancouver but nevertheless, it seems like there is going to be some changes in Season 2. I don't think it's necessarily a bad change. I think it's more exciting than anything else. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.